About Ryan Garcia, no question about him. Okay, that kid's irrelevant. You said no question, huh? No. So you just got out of the ring. Hold on, let's start it off proper. Boxing ego. I'm with my man, Roly. You guys know him, Orlando Romero. How you been? I've been great. You know, uh, I'm really enjoying Dallas. My first time here. First time here. Yeah, I like this place a lot. We're gonna get to like the fights on this card, but you just fought recently on the Sean Porter you guys card. What was that experience like? Tell them how it ended in case they missed it. Fight lasted like what, like 30, 40 seconds? I mean, I hit him right there. Boom, boom, boom. Shattered his nose. Oh, Shat his nose was shattered? Shattered, not broken, shattered. Wow. So, the, and then the ref stopped it? No, it stopped it, no, it knockout. He couldn't get back up. Oh, you knocked him out. Oh. Knocked him out. Now, we were talking, and you said that they're having difficulty sometimes matching you. What, what's that about? You know what I mean? Everybody in this sport knows what I bring. Everybody knows I punch hard. Everybody knows that. They don't want to be in the ring with Roly. Roly will fuck up their career. Roly will make it so I never fucking box again. Roly will make it so I never, they never fucking box again. What about sparring? Can you get sparring? Hey, that's even fucking harder. I got fucking... Dude, I'm not even watching. I've been playing like 300 bucks a fucking week and shit. It's like fucking bullshit. Wow. So you can't get no work? Yeah, I'm not a world champ or anything, shoot. I, I'm, I'm paying, I have to pay people like I'm a fucking world champ and I'm fucking not. It's fucking bullshit. It's because you're hitting too hard? Yeah, there's like, I, I want to say there's like maybe like three or four people I can work with that, that will actually spawn me without, without anything. And that's because they actually have balls to fucking do it. Other than that, nobody fucking spars me. They're terrified of me. Now, I came and checked you out in Vegas. What's your development like from that point to now? Like, do you feel it, matured? It, it was like, what, like 10 months ago, no? Yeah, yeah. It was last summer, yep. My jab's 100 times better. Why was that important to, to work on that? It just helps me set up shots better, blind the opponent, do body shots. It's been helping a lot with body shots, too. Okay. I mean, jab's, like, important for any fighter, you know? And like I said, uh, I, mean, I started boxing six years ago, and uh, I'm, I'm getting better and better every single day. Definitely. What do you think of this card? The main event is also on the co-feature. There's a fighter from your gym, Jay Leon Love and David Benavides. What do you think of those fights and Mikey Garcia, Errol Spence? All right, well, Jay Leon and Benavides are both my boys, so it's like, ooh, it's tough, yeah, you know? Yeah, you're just watching as a fan, uh, Yeah, huh? I'm watching it as a fan, you know, and, uh, you know, may best man win. And then Mikey Garcia, Spence, I mean, I think a lot of people underestimating Mikey, you know, I mean, M M Mikey has come in with a lot of confidence, you know, and confidence can, Confidence and heart can change any fight, you know. I mean, I'm not saying Spence don't have heart. Spence got heart too. Spence is a tough fighter, but I mean, the size difference might be too much too. So I, I want to see how that plays out, you know. I mean, I've seen Pacquiao Margarito with the size difference, you know, and I've seen Floyd Canelo with size difference. So it just depends which fighter comes into a fight, you know. But Mikey's a very smart fighter, and Spence is a really strong fighter too. But the more experienced fighter out of the two is Mikey, but he's also a smaller fighter. So. Either way, huh? Either way, it's a, it's a lot closer fight than people think, so I like them both. So you're fighting at lightweight. What's your rundown? Who's who's the top five at lightweight? Who are the, who are the best fighters in your division? Well, whoever has the belt pretty much, no? So, you think so? I mean, I, I want to I walk them all down. I want to walk them all down. I want to walk them all down. What about like a Loma Chaco or something? Try to fight them too. You fight Loma? I'll fight Loma. Boy, he became world champion at three fights. I got, I got what, eight fights now. Here, let's set that shit up. Now, okay, so, well, switch gears, because I know you crazy. <laughs> what if Mikey stayed at lightweight and fought Lomachenko? Who would win that at 135? Mikey. Mikey. Why'd you say so quick and, and confidently? Mikey. Mikey's timing is unbelievable. I mean, you saw with Linares's timing, and Linares ain't no Mikey. You saw Linares' timing dropped him, you know? And Mikey punched harder than Linares. Mikey's stronger than Linares. I think Mikey better fighter than Linares. Okay. What about another hot topic is Tio Fimo. He's making a lot of noise right now. He said he wants the name of work. Is he ready or? Look, Tio, Tio my boy. And um, I, I wish the best for him, you know? And 
if he if he, him and his dad think he's ready, he's ready. And I I, I think Lima, I think uh, Tio beat him. Tio can beat him. I think Tio beat him. Uh, what have you seen from Tio? Because I know he's trained in Vegas. I don't know exactly where he's training now. Uh, well, no, he's in Vegas again right now. He, he's back and forth from the Vegas, New York. But what have you um, seen about him that you know that makes him an exciting fighter and a good fighter? Well, I, I mean, he, he's just been he's been clearing these guys out. He's been sleeping with uh, high, top level opponents, you know. So I mean, he, he's doing good. He's doing good. Top rank, doing good with him, and uh, I think he's gonna beat Lomachenko. I think they might be fighting at the end of this year. That'd be a good fight. Yeah, I think it'd be a good fight. All right, we gotta get back to your career, Roley. Every time I talk to you, it seems like you genuinely enjoy sleeping people, hurting. I know it's the hurt game, but you seem like you not like the knockouts. It, is that it, true? Is it, that it, 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 it's what excites me. I like it. When did you develop the the, pack, the lust or whatever you want to call it for like knockouts? Like when did you even find out you had power? Look. I'm gonna tell you back to where I started boxing, right? I started boxing off 17. First day going to the gym, I sparked some kid with a national championship. I never know how to sport. And I was just swing wildly, like, oh, you know, I didn't know what the fuck I was hey, doing. Do <laughs> I like swing wildly, like, boom, boom, boom. Damn, you almost knocked my camera out, bro. Chill, chill. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah, anyway. So, yeah, I heard hey, you hey, broke hey, your phone. Yeah, playing I, around. No, I'll shoot. I'd be like, I'd be like, boom, boom. I break my phone all the time. Yeah. I broke like three of them now, like that. Um. But I have broke this kid's nose, right? And my dad's like, what the fuck? And so I spar again <laughs> with somebody else, right? And I like fucking wobble. My dad's like, what the fuck, right? And so my dad's like, hey, hit me in the shoulder. I'm like, no, nah, nigga, you're gonna hit me, right? Yeah. I, I know him, that he's gonna, he's gonna try to hit me, right? And he's like, no, no, just do it, right? He's like, do it as hard as you can. I was like, all right, boom. My dad's like, what the fuck, you know? So I mean, ever since then, like, I mean, I, I knew it was a punch, you know what I mean? I, I've been, since I didn't know anything at all, and I was wobbling and stopping people and hurting them, so it's like... Okay, I gotta ask you, I'll, I'll try to, when I see Teofimo, I'll try to ask him too. What do you think about some people like Teofimo, he had the knockout and he did like Fortnite dances and like home run. I've seen you like post sparring. What do you think and say to the people who think celebration like that is like OD, overkill? Whoa. <laughs> what the fuck? Hey, hey. I, 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 I post knockouts for fun. I post, I post that shit for fun. I, I enjoy that shit. So I mean, Tio Fimo can do whatever fuck he want too, man. Fucking shit, I, I enjoy this shit. Hey, <laughs> I'm about to post this shit. I'm enjoy this shit. Okay. Hey, hey, if if you don't if you don't like knockouts, why the fuck you watching the sport? And if you don't like the shit I do, and you don't like the shit Tio Fimo does, don't fucking watch us. It's simple as that. All right. Go fuck. They can go. If they're fucking hating on us, they can all go fuck themselves. Straight up. Straight up. <laughs> yeah. That's tell us how you really feel. That's how I feel. If if, if y'all don't fucking like me, go fuck yourself. And don't watch my shit. What about if it's on my page? Boxing, can they watch it on my page even if they don't like? No, I'm just playing. Leave a dislike. <laughs> hey, you hate it. <laughs> no, no, don't leave a dislike. It's gonna fuck up the channel. Yeah, just, but, but but leave a dislike on my Instagram. <laughs> Le leave a bad comment. I like reading them. I be, I, be, I be getting some fucked up comments. I be enjoying reading them shit. All right, I got a question too. You live in Sin City. What's your favorite cheat meal? Like we're not in camp. What, what do you what do you get? Chicken Raising and cane? the chicken and waffles, man. Okay. I love chicken and waffles. And you got you got like take like the maple syrup and the hot sauce. And you gotta mix that shit together, man. That shit's so fucking flame. Man. I love chicken and waffles. I look forward to your next fight. Tell the fans where they can follow you. Follow me on Instagram at Rollies R O L L I E S S S and Twitter sign up for KOs. Some people don't know you speak Spanish. Say a message to the Spanish speaking fans. Saludo a todo, a todo mi hermano latino. And shit, I, I don't know what to say in Spanish. I, I, I speak it fluent. Hablo español bien, okay? Saludo a todo y mirame pelear. Shout out to you, Rolly. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.